take 643. This is like 643rd time I've done this fucking video and I'm kind of getting sick of it. I don't know why I don't like any of my other ones. I don't really like making long videos so I'm gonna make this one shorter. Hi closet. It is Monday but I'm lying because I'm actually recording this on Saturday but you're not gonna see it till Monday but I'm gonna get it in there bright and early. Um, my name's Brie if you haven't cut off. This week's topic is YouTubers we follow and YouTubers that might be part of the LGBTQ community. That LGBTQ is a really a tongue twister, if you think about it. It's really hard to say really fast in videos. I always feel like I'm going to say it wrong. Moving on. The three YouTubers I'm going to mention um, actually are part of the LGBTQ community. First one I'm going to talk about, her name is Ellie Leah. I will put her link in the sidebar along with every other link tonight that I talk about because I'm just going to link the crap out of you tonight. I have been watching Ellie's videos since the beginning, um, since like the low play count on her videos, but she is a super talented girl and I'm not going to lie, when I first started watching her, I had a YouTube crush and then I was like, whoa Brie, you're a creeper when I realized she's like 15 or 16. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ellie. but. I started watching her. She's got major talent. Um, she does some of her own videos and I've actually uh, took the time to take one of her songs off of her YouTube. Yeah, copyright my ass, but um, not using it for any distributing. So YouTube, don't come after me. Ellie, please don't sue me. Uh, I used it as one of my ringtones because I fell in love with this song here. So ringtone. Bam! Proof. I liked that song so much. It's something I would put on my iPod, and it's actually on my iPod, um, but it's also the ringtone on my phone. And now she's getting bigger, and I, I knew this day was coming, but I'm gonna look back and be like, you know what? I liked her since the beginning, and I always believed in her, and I'm totally gonna be a supporter, and I'm totally gonna buy her CD. I'm not gonna lie and wire that shit. So, Ellie, if you're watching, uh, don't lose sight of your dreams, because you're going places. I wait in my turn feelings in the dark and baby look we are we can talk for hours about absolutely nothing now i love every minute of it i cry cause i miss you smile because i have you can't live without you next one i'm going to talk about is someone you all know you all know pretty well if you've followed the closet for any period of time and she's our Saturday girl and her name is Courtney uh, I'll put her link again in the sidebar link 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 I started watching Courtney a while back Courtney is actually the reason you're seeing my face right now she's the reason I know about the closet the reason I started watching the closet and the reason I decided to audition for the closet but I think she is just flippin hilarious she's just got that sense of humor that is right on my my level this video I saw of hers is called liquid fire and <laughs> it's gonna be in the sidebar here and I challenge you watch that video with a straight face because I don't think it's possible like I would BS that shit go check her out if you haven't go subscribe to her she will make you laugh. Dun dun. Two in one warming. Perfect, I thought. Two in one. It's massage oil and personal lubricant. Let me just and rub. Oh no no, my friend. This shit is liquid fire. Third one I'm gonna talk about. I actually think he's like the best friend of another closeteer, and that's how I got to know him. I guess, on YouTube in some creepy way. His name is Jace, and he actually documents his entire transition um, from female to male. And I just went through and watched like quite a few of his videos, but it's so interesting to me, and I love these stories, and I it's part of, you know, our community and everything. Yeah, he's just a super cool guy. Uh, check out his link in the sidebar, go watch some of his videos. But that's it for now, guys. Um, probably gonna get drunk tomorrow and watch the Super Bowl. Um, I have to work all day. And then, you know, Super Bowl drunkness. And then I'm gonna go home and crash and I have to work Monday. So I hope you guys had a great Monday or are having a great Monday because I'm gonna post this in the morning on Monday. Um, yeah, bye.